Welcome to Nagpur, the city which lies in the heart of our country. The historical heritage monument of the Zero Mile Marker bears witness to this unique geographical attribute and the city has the distinction of being the winter capital of the state of Maharashtra and is the proud seat of the Nagpur bench of the Bombay High Court enshrined in the majestic heritage edifice so aptly described as Poem in Stone. The Nagpur bench of the Bombay High Court cordially welcomes you all for the inauguration of Nyai Kaushal, an e-resource center which will operate from the presence of the Judicial Officers Training Institute Nagpur, popularly known as Jyoti. and nearly footsteps away from the High Court building. The centre has taken its shape from the inspiration of the Honourable the Chief Justice of India, Honourable Sri Justice Sharad Bobri, having conducted virtual hearings from Nagpur for the Jagannath Puri Rathiyatra case. It has taken shape with the staunch support of the Chairman E-Court Committee Supreme Court of India, Honourable Sri Justice Dr. D.Y. Chandrachur. The Honourable the Chief Justice Bombay High Court, Honourable Sri Justice Dipankar Datta provided a strong backbone to aid this novel venture and the untiring efforts of the Administrative Judge of the Nagpur Bench of the Bombay High Court, Honourable Sri Justice R.K. Deshpande. With the technical support from Honourable Sri Justice Nitin Jamdar, Chairman Computer Committee Bombay High Court. It was brought to life with the innovative vision of the Vice Chairman of the E-Court Committee, Supreme Court of India and former Judge Bombay High Court, Honorable Sri Justice R. C. Chawan. Our judicial system has been magnificently shouldering the ambitious goal set by the Constitution of India towards achieving an amalgamation of the civilization along with individual liberty and social action, abolition of anarchy and preservation of democracy in the state of political and economic freedom. It has, even now during the dark period of the pandemic, attempted to reach out to the common man by providing access to justice, come what may, to the litigants, advocates and every single person knocking its doors. Today, it takes a leap forward with the establishment of the e-resource center by commencing this novel pilot project. The e-resource center is a self-sufficient center aiming to cater to the needs of the lawyers and litigants in person who intend to take recourse to e-filing or to virtual hearing in any court in India. This is also another step towards helping poor litigants gain access to justice as they would be provided service free of charge, thereby showing how use of technology can help take justice to the doorstep of the poor. The entire setup is aimed at simplifying accessibility to justice for which the E-Courts Committee of the Supreme Court of India and the E-Court Committee of the Bombay High Court have been instrumental in fulfilling this dream project. Let us have a glance through the E-Resource Centre. Four separate chambers are provided for video conferencing wherein one may connect with the virtual court hearing at any court in India be it Honourable Supreme Court of India or any High Court in the country and even District Courts and Grassroot Taluka Courts. There are six separate PC units integrated with internet and LAN connection and basic infrastructure like scanners and printers so that one may not only be able to get the petitions digitally scanned but also get access to preliminary services required for executing the actual e-filing of the matters. We have dedicated trainers for propagating e-governance exclusive personnel to assist the advocates and party in person in completing their e-filing tasks with ease or attending the virtual hearing without any hassles. So here we are stepping up to cast away the technical hurdles in the access to justice. We must with cheer and applause welcome this new project aimed at simplifying the newer techniques for access to speedy justice. As said by Honorable, the Chief Justice of India, COVID-19 pandemic has provided us with a compulsory training to prepare for a new working environment. 
it must settle down to a system that is combination of the new and old. There is no looking back. With this vision of my lord, Nyai Kaushal, the e-resource center will be acknowledged as another innovative step taken by the Indian judiciary to meet the new challenges created by the pandemic situation. It is a proof that the judiciary is striving towards technological excellence too. In these unprecedented times, it is moments like these which bring a cheer to our faces.